Welcome to Iron Point Tech. Today, we're gonna to be showing you how to download Fortnite for PC, specifically for Windows. This process is very easy. It's just a matter of finding out where the Fortnite game is and not to be confused with other game launchers like Steam or Battle.net. It's not gonna be in those platforms. You're not gonna be able to find them. It's specifically through the Epic Games Launcher, which is a whole new program that you're gonna to need to download first. So what you're gonna to wanna to start with is opening up your search browser and just Googling Epic Games Launcher. And the first result here is bringing me to the, actually da the actual download page for Epic Games. What I'm gonna do is I'll just navigate back to the home page just in case those of you who get to this page and still wanna download it. You just go to this top right corner here, this Get Epic Games button click on that result and then it brings up your hard drive where you're going to want to save the Epic Games installer. So make sure you have the correct file selected, correct folder that you're going to download the installer for. And then go ahead and click save. So the Epic Games installer is downloaded. Now we just need to install the actual game. So when I open it up, it obviously has the uh, default program files for whatever your initial hard drive is. I'm actually going to change mine because I've installed a new hard drive disk on my computer. There we go. And then once you have your correct folder selected, and then you wait for it to install. Okay, so the Epic Games Launcher has finished installing, so we can close out of this browser, and now it's gonna be downloading the actual Epic Games platform. All right, so now we're signing into Epic Games. Okay, now that we're signed into Epic Games, you just need to go to the search bar and search for Fortnite, and it brings up the Fortnite game. And of course, it's free for all platforms. So all you need to do is click on it. I've already I already own this game, so I don't need to claim or buy the free game. I just simply click on Owned, and it brings me to all of the games that I've actually downloaded on the Epic Games launcher. And now all that's left is for me to install Fortnite. So I'm just gonna click this install button and it brings me to, similar to what we've had before of where we want to save the actual Fortnite game. So most of the time, you'll just save it right to your program files in your Epic Games folder. I'm actually gonna change mine to a separate hard drive I have set up. And I'm gonna have it auto update so that I don't have to worry about updating the game every time there's a new update that comes out, a new season that launches, and I'm going to have a create a shortcut for my desktop so I can quickly access Fortnite. Just click install. So you can see here that the game is now installing. You can go to the download section to see the download speeds and the size of the game, so you can kind of get an estimate of how long it's going to take to download the full Fortnite game. Now that the game has finished downloading, you can go ahead and click launch. And after you finish loading, you're brought to these three options where you can click and go into whatever game mode you want. Thanks for tuning in. Go ahead and like and subscribe and feel free to watch any of our other videos. Thanks.